Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your emoji panel is not working on your Windows 10 computer and is not available. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the star menu. Go ahead and type in check for updates. Best result, should go back for check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. And you just go ahead and select check for updates and see if there were any available. And restart your computer once it's done and then hopefully you would have been able to resolve the problem because it might not be working in a previous or earlier version of Windows 10. You can go back here and then just select the home option again. So if you restart your computer and go back into settings, go ahead now and select the time and language tile. Select region on the left side. And then on the right side, you wanna go where it says country or region, click inside the drop down here. You want to go ahead and set it to a country that supports emojis, such as the United States, one example. Something else you can go ahead and try here if you were to close out here. Open up the star menu, type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. It starts with the C drive. So if Windows is installed on a different drive letter, you might have to select that instead to just remove the C and change it to a different letter. So whether your Windows is on a D or an E or a different letter drive, you just have to swap that out. But otherwise, just copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Once that is done, go ahead and copy some reg SVR commands I'm going to have underneath of that. There's going to be four total, so just go ahead and copy and paste them in the same way. Succeeded, and then finally one more here. Succeeded. And if you get any errors when doing any of those, don't worry about it. And then anyway, once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the start menu. Type in services, best match, I'll come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go and locate the touch keyboard and handwriting panel service. Right here, and double click on it. You want to set startup type to automatic, and if service status is stopped, you want to go ahead and select start. And then you would select apply and OK. Restart your system, and that should hopefully be about it. One further thing you can try if you're still having a problem would be to open up the star menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, should go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep export range at all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're gonna start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Locate Microsoft and double click on that. Should be an input folder. Scroll down and double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be a settings folder. So just go ahead and left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the registry editor window here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right panel here, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this value exactly how it appears on my screen. So call it enable expressive input shell hotkey. So enable expressive input shell hotkey. First letter of each word should be capitalized exactly how you see it on my screen here. I'll zoom in a little bit more as well. Hit enter on your keyboard. And again, it should say exactly what I have here. And double click on this. 
you want to change the value data to 1, so delete the 0, type the numerical number 1, select OK. Once that's done, you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.